Hey ladies and gents, passing is the easiest way to go in Pro Evolution Soccer 2021 and is the foundation of any attack. I'll be sharing with you over 20 different ways to pass and four key things you need to know which you might not have known how to do which is going to help you retain possession better, but more importantly, cut through your opponent's defense. Yes, ladies and gents, it's Spoonie Pizzas again, and welcome to my ultimate passing tutorial. So to pass the ball, all you need to do is tap X, and that is your basic standard pass. Aim the left stick before powering up, and the power is really important. A lot of people make this mistake about getting the wrong amount of power, so we're just gonna be looking at some examples of how much power I'm gonna be putting on these passes. And if we look at the through ball, which is the triangle on your PS4 controller, it's not only useful for playing strikers in behind the defence, but also bringing midfielders or deep line midfielders forward from their position. When it comes to passing, I tend to be very safe and slow in the defensive third, but then pick up the pace of passing in the final third. To increase the accuracy of your passes, make sure you, when you receive a pass, you take a touch to control the ball first and then pass it with the second touch. I've actually noticed that most of my goals that I score come from where the AI and CPU loses the ball deep in my half of the pitch and then I'm able to counter quickly. However, if they do stack the numbers in defense like you're seeing here, make sure you work the ball side to side. And a fantastic tool to use is actually the through ball because you can curl the through ball by using this technique. So just aim the left analog stick just ahead of your winger or your fullback whoever's out on the wing and apply about i don't know 80 70 or 80 percent power and then that will just fire it nicely into their path and getting to the byline is really important because what it does watch the opposition players here they all drop back more or less into the penalty box and that's going to allow you to play across the edge of the penalty box and tee up a shot or if you're really intricate play it through the middle creating that chance to get a shot on goal to perform a lofted through ball, what you need to do is hold the player select button and press your triangle on the PS4 controller just to loft the ball. And this is really good for sort of either getting in behind the defenses or teeing up someone on the edge of the box for a volley. There's different types of passes that the player idea will come in to use based on the height of the ball, the way it's coming into your player and the timing especially is a big factor. So you can see here, just laying the ball off with the chest because I pressed the X button quite late as the ball was dropping. And the same applies for heading as well. So you can just press the X button when the ball's in the air, just to head it to a nearby player. If a player has high ball control stats, then you can use the triangle, the through ball on your controller, basically to produce these flicks and tricks, which are seen from Sancho in these two examples, which look really cool, especially if they result in a goal. Now let's take a look at the early cross. So all you need to do is hold the player select button and press the lob pass button. This can be used anywhere from inside your opponent's half and is quite useful for dropping the ball just over that back line if they're quite high up. So there's Marcus Rashford just pinging one across to Sancho who tries to just loft it in after the defender completely makes a hash of that. Now let's take a look at lofted passes. So all you need to do is aim using your left stick and press circle the lob pass button on your controller if you're using default controls. If you're using FIFA controls, obviously it's the square button. It's useful for switching the play, if, especially if your opponent has all the players on one side of the field. If you want to perform a back heel, all you need to do is push the left arm stick 180 degrees from the way you're facing and then press the triangle and just make sure you don't put too much power on it and ensure that the distance between you and the player receiving the ball isn't too great as it's not very accurate. If your player has weighted pass, the ability to play a weighted pass, what this does is it applies backspin to the ball and watch how the ball lands. So I'm just doing a normal lofted through ball here and watch the backspin on the ball as it connects with the grass. Let's take a look at the disguise through ball. So what you do is you go to power up a shot and then you're going to fake that out by pressing the triangle, the through ball button before you make contact with the ball. And that will basically, it's a really effective way to trick the defense into making them think you're gonna shoot. And then actually you'll just play a slide through ball to your striker. And it's really useful for either those sort of passes you're seeing here or where the defense is really deep lying and you wanna slide a player in. A really useful tool, especially online, is this one here, is where you hold your special controls button and press the lob pass button. And what this does, it just loops the ball quite high into the air and great for playing over those players that like to try and cut out the passing lanes. It's also really good when you're defending because you can then just use it just to relieve that pressure, 
just by lofting the ball over the opposition. Next up is a really effective tool and one of my favorites is the low driven pass. You can use this anywhere inside your opponent's half and it's really, really effective. Pretty much anywhere inside the opponent's half because they just can't expect it and you get full control and you determine where you're aiming with the left arm stick. So all you need to do is hold the player select button and double tap the circle button. Normally used for low driven crosses but you can use it for passing as well. If you have a player in behind, then you can always let the pass go. So just make sure you apply enough power in the first place on that pass. And to step over, all you need to do is hold the special controls button and your player select button to allow the ball to run through the legs of that player to release the player in behind, as you're sort of seeing here. So he just leaves it for Rashford to get through on goal and have a shot. Now let's take a look at one of my favorites is the scooped through ball. So I did do a tutorial in PES 2020 on this, but I thought I'd update it with the PES 2021 version. So you can see here, the player just gets his foot underneath the ball and just scoops it up over the defense. Really, really effective tool. And you're going to see it here. So to perform it, all you need to do is release all your controls in the first instance. And then all at the same time, push the left analog stick, the player select button and the through ball. And that will perform the scooped through ball. Like I said, if you do it properly, you'll see the player just scoop it up just like this you're seeing here from Verratti. Now let's take a look at the scooped lofted pass. So yes, uh, again, similar to the through ball, release all your controls and then push the left arrow stick, the circle, which is your low pass button and the special controls button all at the same time just to scoop the ball up via the lofted pass. The beauty with basic passing is that you can enable sort of manual passes by holding the left trigger. So by holding the left trigger, what happens is you'll get this little marker underneath your player. That indicates where the ball's going to go and that is totally unassisted. So wherever your left analog stick's pointing and you press the pass button, that's where the ball's going to go. It's completely unassisted. And the AI do struggle to pick up on those types of passes as well. They find it much harder to intercept even on the higher difficulties such as Superstar and Legend. But one of my favorite and most used tools is the manual lob pass. I hold the left trigger, press the circle, and it's just so much better than the lob pass. It allows you to play it into space, especially when you're switching from side to side so your player can continue his run. So you're not sort of waiting for the ball to land. And you can even use it with the weaker foot. So here we have Brandon Williams. His left foot is his strong foot. I'm kicking with his right foot here, and it's almost treated as if he's using his left foot so it does abuse the player stats to an extent and if you ever want to play a long ball in behind the opponent's defense then definitely enable the manual control so holding that left trigger again and just using the circle and pumping it over the top as you can see here i was able to latch onto that with vardy now let's take a look at the manual through ball so hold the left trigger press the triangle the through ball button on your controller and I'm using here about 35% power to slot in Sancho here who's going to score with the outside of his foot. Now if we take a closer look I want you to focus on this defender here and like I was saying earlier about the AI and the CPU not being able to pick up on passes look how he just sort of spins because he's lost where the ball is. And this was actually on legend difficulty. So it gives you an idea of how manual passes and through balls can affect the CPU and AI. So not all that great. But let's now look at the lofted through ball for the, well, the manual lofted through ball. So hold the left trigger and left bumper and pressing the triangle button on your controller. And you're going to see again around 35% power at the same sort of range that I did earlier. And that allowed me to play Sanche through in off that wing. Now let's talk about build up of attacks. I will be doing a advanced chance creation tutorial later on but for now let's just take a look at some pass and moves. So always look for an additional pass to play it to someone who may be in a better position. You can see there Sancho his shot would have been blocked here had I took it on so playing it back to Vardy made sense and allowed me to score. Remember how I said I score a lot of goals from the CPU losing the ball deep in my half and I'm able to counter quickly? Well, just look at this player here who I've highlighted and he's going to be running from deep from the edge of his own box. I'm going to play a ball out wide and keep focusing on him because I'm watching his run all the way through this move. And then here he's going to be able to get in between the defense and midfield. And that's going to cause a lot of problems to the AI. That means they either have to come out and try and tackle me, which allows me to play a through ball. Or if they back off, I'm able to take the shot. When you are building your attacks, just look at the opposition as well. 
take a close look at the opposition. So you can see here how narrow they are. They're within the edges of the penalty box, the whole team pretty much. So it's it's really congested and really hard. But by playing the ball out to the wing, look at the gaps now in between the defenders. It's not so bad. So you're going to see here, I'm going to just toy with this defender, pull him out onto the wing, realize there's nothing doing there. I could have had a shot at the edge of the box here. I'll lay it off to Pogba and try to get a shot and goal. The key to successful passing is making sure that your player is facing the way you're actually playing the ball. So you can see there the successful passing arc I've highlighted on the pitch. If I was to pass anywhere in the arc, it would be a successful pass generally. Always take a touch if you can. It's not always possible. And don't be afraid to go backwards because you can see here I'm under pressure. I've got nothing going forwards. So laying the ball backwards sometimes opens up the play and gives you a little bit more time on the ball. So let's take a look at what happens to your player if you don't pass within the passing arc. And you can see here Aaron Mabasaka is off balance and struggling to make that pass. Luckily it's a short pass and it's successful. But obviously you are going to struggle. So just make sure you are playing the way you're facing and take an extra touch if need to as this will allow you to build your attacks better. That's all from me, ladies and gents. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you find this useful. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. That'd be a great help to the channel. Until next time, guys, I'll look forward to seeing you soon, and if you've got any questions, just drop a comment below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks a lot, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.